outside the factory of the Wonder Soil Company and this is where they are making actually some soil that you can use and add to your garden to grow things. Yes, here in Las Vegas, the Sin City. So why I'm here today is to actually share with you guys what this soil is, how they're making it, and how it can benefit you and your garden. So actually, let's head into the Wonder Soil Company and check out some of the products they're offering. So now we're inside the Wonder Soil Company here in their little showroom area with all their products uh, laid out here. And now I'm going to explain to you guys what is Wonder Soil, right? How, what's this soil they're making here in Las Vegas, right? So, you know, it all starts, the Wonder Soil starts out with this guy right here. You're like, oh, John, that's coconut core. I know about coconut core. Well, for those of you guys that don't know about the coconut core, let me explain to you what it is. The coconut core basically comes from the coconut husk. Right after you take out the coconut inside that you could buy your grocery store, outside surrounds it is kind of like looks like a big football actually, and contains a real fibrous material. Now this is there not for us to use as you know uh, in the ground for growing things in, but it's there for the coconut so it will be buoyant and float across the ocean. And because it has plant cytokines in the coconut, it allows it to basically stay fresh so that the seed the seed can germinate when it lands on another beach. You know months you know at a time so the coconut is very fibrous has a lot of fiber properties and after we harvest the coconut and use it for the milk or use it for the coconut meat or the water they have this all residual waste product known as the coconut core now this core block is hundred percent coconut core but this core is different than any other core on the market that I found you know like I said you know for most places, the coconut core is basically the waste product of a food use coconut. You know, in the case of the Wonder Soil Company, they source special coconut fiber. Now, the coconut fiber that they source comes select from trees that are specifically grown for the fiber, not for the coconut inside. That's the first differentiation. Much like there's many varieties of apples out there, there are also many varieties of coconuts. I'm glad to say that I've had, you know, a couple hundred different varieties because every tree is different although it's not named I've had coconuts that are nice and large and you know Thai coconuts that are sweet then I've had coconuts that have like a lot of fibrous mass but very little you know a coconut in there and the water which is what I'm after but it has a lot of fiber so those are the kind of trees they use uh, to put in this coconut core the trees that have the most amount of fiber another thing that's very important that differentiates this over other coconut core products on the market because they're not all created equal and some will definitely perform better than others. I mean, I've gotten my share of crappy coconut core before, uh, is the way they, they process it. So number one, instead of just washing it like most coconut cores are washed, uh, they actually spray wash it so it's not submerged completely in water. So this may retain extra nutrition and retain different properties in the core. The third way that differentiates this product is the way they process it, right? Processing, you know, it, for most coconut core companies, they want to pack in and compress the coconut core to the smallest size to pack in the most product so it weighs the most so that they could sell the most, right? Well, not with the Wonder Soil Company. What they do is, number one, when they're processing the fiber, they don't, you know, process it and cut it up into the same way that other processors do. In addition, when it is shipped over in these blocks, it's not compressed down as much. So the fiber and the structure, the cell structure of this guy is still viable. Now, another thing that I wanna talk about is the difference between coconut core and peat moss, right? That's something real big, especially if you're into environmentalists and being more sustainable, right? The coconut tree or the coconut palm produces like 100, 120 nuts a year. And that's a, definitely enough coconut water and meat and food for me to eat, but also you get all the, the nuts, right? And so all those nuts can be turned into the coconut core product, whereas with the peat, you know, the peat is pretty much, for all practical purposes, a non-renewable resource. You know, peat bogs are not rapidly expanding as fast as coconut trees expand and grow more. A matter of fact, peat bogs are actually being degraded and disappearing. Now, yes, you know, it still may be a couple thousand years before all the peat bogs are gone, but the fact of the matter is, you know, we're destroying habitats to create things that we need to add to our garden when we actually can use a byproduct of a whole industry to put back in our garden to do things like 
conserve water, to hold water, to provide better aeration and better drainage in the soil with the core. So that's, this is the foundation product of all the different products that you see behind me. Next, I want to get into each specific one and share with you guys what makes it different than the standard core block that's pretty much available you know, at most uh, home and garden stores or hydroponic shops. So real quickly, the next thing they got is they got the coconut core cube, and this is basically the same as the other one, but it has some calcium in there. And then next they have their, uh, their the premier flagship product, and this is the expanded plant, organic premium planting mix uh, quality core. So once again, this is using the same high quality core that I discussed earlier, but now they're adding things to it. They're adding things that I agree with, like the worm castings. They're adding the mycorrhiza. They're adding different uh, beneficial nutrients in there, including water-saving polymers and a fertilizer package that's going to allow for rapid plant growth. Uh, besides that, they have a little smaller version. It's called the Expanding Plant Brick Plus. And then another cool thing, especially for you guys that have pets, you know, the pets will dig holes in your lawn and stuff. They got this one. This is the pet patch. So this is the perfect fill when the, you know, the dogs dig out the holes. You could uh, patch this up and plant some seeds and it's going to grow really good for you. The next thing is they have a whole selection of uh, uh, what I like to call tennis uh, ball uh, tubes here with all different kinds of products. So uh, the first one I'd like to go over is the seed starting mix. And this is probably the product of all the different products that I'm seeing today that I love the most. Basically it's really, it can be challenging to start your seeds if you use just compost or just dirt from outside. Your seeds may not germinate properly because it, it, the seed, you know, the dirt or the compost may not hold the right amount of moisture for you guys. You know, whereas the coconut core will hold the moisture and they've added other beneficial things in this uh, seed starting mix, such as the worm castings and, uh, you know, some rock dust and other products that's going to ensure you have a perfect germination every single time. Now, all these different uh, <laughs> tennis ball uh, tubes have different price points but in general most of them except for uh, one of them about ten dollars retail price but definitely because you're one, you're one of my viewers stay tuned for the end of this episode for a special deal in this uh, seed starting mix that you can't buy directly from wonderful soils only for my viewers so aside from that they actually have a city soil and a garden soil product so these can be used to you know grow things in little pots little planter boxes and these can also be used to add uh, you know good organic matter including the coconut core plus uh, nutrients in, in, the ter in the case of worm castings and fertilizers into your garden. Not too interesting to me, you know, it's a lot less expensive to get the expanded plant, you know, buy in bulk, save more money. Uh, next, these are actually really cool products here. We got the uh, tunnel fill and the tunnel plugs. So if you got gopher problems or, you know, moles or whatever that are digging up in your garden and leaving their holes, you know, this is what you need to fill the holes. Literally, these are little pellets that you kind of get in the little holes or their little tunnels. And this one little jar, right, will fill 50 linear feet. That's a lot of space. You put these guys in there because you can't just really pack it full of dirt because the dirt won't really fill. But you guys could put these in there, and then I'd probably take my air compressor, man, and blast some air in there and get these go down in the tunnel more. And then all you do is you take your water hose, fill it up in the tunnel, and then when the water hits these guys, these guys expand massively. And then because of a special proprietary formula in here, which includes things like the cayenne and the garlic, right? <laughs> the gophers are not gonna wanna go back in that hole. They're gonna avoid it and hopefully go to your neighbor's house. All right, so besides the tunnel fill, they also got the tunnel plugs, you know? So at the end of the tunnel, right where the gophers come up at the top, right? You do not wanna put the tunnel fill. It's too soft and spongy. And if you got animals or yourself, you could still trip on that and fall over because it's just gonna compress. That's where the tunnel plugs come in. So you're going to need the tunnel plugs to cap off the tunnel fill product. And that makes a nice hard ground area that's actually enriched with some of the same things they put in their other products. So you could plant grass, plant your turf, or plant whatever you want on top of the ground, including your vegetables. And then they also have the jumbo size of that. And then finally, they have a little seed starting kits here. I like that a lot. That's actually made out of, uh, once again, no peat moss here. This is actually containing birch is the little starting cells, and then they have the coconut core fiber inside. In addition, they have this little sprout house, so if, especially if you got kids, this is a nice little simple uh, all-in-one package that's gonna allow you to uh, have a little greenhouse inside and check it out. And they have these little uh, coconut core uh, little pots here, 
that then you're going to expand the little coconut core pellets inside the pot it's going to expand plant your seeds in there then you just basically close this little top up and you got a little greenhouse to start all your plants and then when you're ready you can just take this whole thing outside stick it in your ground and the roots will grow through this uh, coconut core right there so yeah I love coconuts one of my favorite crops and uh, yeah fiber is very beneficial of course if you have a lot of kids or maybe you're involved with the school they got this this is really cool it's a classroom gardening kit so literally this kit it's under $25 it's basically going to provide each child in a whole room or a classroom 30 plantable core pots with the planting media and the seeds so that kids can start to get growing one of the things that I'm super huge on that's super important to me is teaching kids where the food comes from letting them know how nature works I mean we're all so much on the computer these days and kids are on their iPhones you know get rid of the iPhones <laughs> get some classroom garden kits so that kids could see the process they could get the little pots they could use the little uh, core pellets here, expand it into the uh, growing medium, use the little marigold seeds, plant them in the pots, see the plants grow, and yes, you could even eat the marigold flowers, they're rich in lutein and zeaxanthin that are good for your eyes. Finally, they have the expand and plant premium planting mix that's basically the same as the one that's compressed. I always encourage you guys to get the compressed one whenever possible because it's just going to save transportation costs. One of, the thing I, one of the things I like about the Wonder Soil Company is that they're not shipping, you know, soil products that have a lot of moisture weight, right? They want to save money in the shipping, they want to save the nature's resources, save the world's resources, and then allow you to expand it at home with everyday natural water that comes out of your tap or out of your well at home. So what I want to do next is actually show you guys the power of these coconut core pellets here you know I've used them before I've seen them expand you guys have been seen them expand we've all used the peat pellets that expand very slowly now I'm going to show you guys how rapidly these guys expand these are the most fastest expanding core pellets that I've ever seen in my life all right so before I get into expanding the little two core pellets here with the water and look it's not even that much water I'm going to share a few more things about the Wonder Soil Company and some of the work they're doing you know that's just amazing Number one, they've been here over eight years now running this business and constantly improving what they're doing so they can get great results, but more importantly, benefit the people of America and cities around the country to help them grow, yes, greener lawns. As much as I do not like lawns and turf and believe you guys should remove them to plant edible vegetables, which is a better use of space or edible fruit trees and edible crops, you know, the fact of the matter is clear. Most people are not yet growing vegetables and may still have a lawn. So if you do have a lawn and are having challenges keeping it green using your standard, you know, chemicals and chemical fertilizers and all this kind of stuff, Wonder Soul has a solution for you. And it's proven itself time and time again. So now I want to take some uh, minutes in this video to share with you guys some of the results they're getting, you know, using, using the Wonder Soul product to grow turf or grow grass. So check it out, this is really cool. You know, this happened last year here in Las Vegas. Now Las Vegas, definitely a really challenging place to grow a lawn, you know, especially with the drought and all this kind of stuff. And especially, you know, big cities have problems growing their lawns. I mean, I think big cities are, are horrendous because they use, you know, chemical fertilizers and chemical pest controls. And there is a better way, it's the organic way like they're promoting here at Wonder Soil. And this is a little study that they did here uh, Wonder Soil versus conventional soil using the same grass seed. Floyd Land Park, Las Vegas, Nevada. And yes, I've been to Floyd Land Park. I don't know if I've been to this exact area. But what this is showing here is that basically the, the city did a test. They brought in 200,000 pounds of conventional soil without seed in nine trucks. And it took 30 hours to spread all this soil onto the ground. And then they got literally two super sacks, which is not a lot of a wonder soil that's approximately two uh, cubic yards approximately or 2,000 pounds of the wonder soil with the seed in two 1,000 pound super sacks and it took three hours of spread and they basically just used this standard you know uh, spreader to spread it and then uh, over here you can see you know what it looked like on day one you know you can see the regular soil and the wonder soil and then uh, by day seven you can see some of the results you can see, you know, this side's not looking too good. The winter soil is looking better. 
And then by day 15, yeah, you know, their side's looking pretty good, and that's probably what most parks near you look like. And then, of course, the Wonder Soil side looks amazing. You know, every park, every city in America, they have a turf, which I still do not recommend. They should pull out their turf and grow edible gardens for people like Petaluma, California. Be sure to check my past videos for the edible park in California where you can literally go there and just pick and eat all the stuff. And they got a lot of berries planted, guys. Anyways, uh, by day 60, check it out. You know, the Wonder Soil side, side, nice and green. And finally, the regular side is almost almost there but not quite so you know you just got a greener lawn faster looks real nice you know and a lot less a lot less trucking a lot less diesel fuel being and diesel particulate going into the air a lot of cost savings just the, the labor alone you know man hours super expensive saved it all with the wonder soul so if you want to be able to do that to your own lawn and you have you know bad patches you know, uh, of like, just like my neighbor <laughs> has some bad patches where it's, you know, just dirt and you try to use those different patch fix things in your soil and it just, it, and it never worked and you still got patches. Well, you want to get one of these products here. You know, these are available at your local Ace, Home Depot, um, uh, Schultz, Carefree and True Value. They basically make uh, private label brands of the Wonder Soil company's product and here's one right here this is the one that's available at Home Depot uh, the Wonder Soil company makes this for the Vigoro brand so they own you know a, a number of patents actually that allows them to have this technology to put it into products because no other company has these same technology in the core products that they've invested the time money and research to make, make basically make proven results and that's what I want to really share with you guys in, in this section I mean here's another thing they had a lawn that basically was crabgrass, right? It just was not doing well, would not green up, you know. Basically, they took just a standard uh, fertilizer spreader. They spread a mixture of their Wonder Soil on top. And then, you know, later, of course, check it out, all green. Now, this Wonder Soil works not only because it's a wonder, not only because of the coconut core, but it's because of all the other things they're adding into it, which actually I'm going to show you guys in a minute. Some of the products, I mean, they have a bigger selection of organics and non-organic additives to add into their soil to make it the best soil in the world to especially bring back your lawn to make it green again. So here it is, check it out, you know, I like showing these guys when some of the big boys are selling products that don't really work that effectively, you know, um, and how it really is. So unprecedented 10 day after seeding. So here's the Scott's Easy Seed and Scott's the same people that make the Miracle Crap fertilizer and uh, the Wonder Soil with a certain seed and after 10 days right their stuff hasn't hardly done nothing and here you got a green lawn already and here's a test of the between the Pennington the Scots and the Wonder Soil you know it's their patented reground technology is more successful than any other growing medium for seed and lawn repair so if it could do this for your lawn what is it going to do for your garden that is the question that I have for you guys and uh, now we're going to show you this here the Wonder Soil company did a test here and their uh, coconut core pots allow for easy planting and effortless transplanting without the risk of transplant shock so I showed you guys those earlier but here's a photograph of a study that shows two bulbs in the same type of seed each planted in a different pot the pot on the left contains wonder soil while the pot on the right contains the standard coconut core look at the difference the one in the standard coconut core actually is barely germinating and still after the study was done you know, they took the, the bulb out and planted it into the Wonder Soil and it just never really fully recovered. This is very important to remember and I want to impart this in you guys. If you don't remember anything else from this video, remember this. You know, especially when your plants are young, right? Especially when your plants are young, it's very important to nurture them and let them have the best level of health. Give them the best nutrients. Don't stress them out with too much water, too little water, because if you do and you stress out your plants when they're young, they will not produce fully for you later. So very important to remember, many gardeners do not talk about this. I think it's very important because I'm all for maximizing my yields and growing the healthiest plants that are going to grow the healthiest food. And, uh, you know, basically showing in this is that not all coconut core products are related to eco. You may have heard of coconut core before. I know I did before I walked into Wonder Soul. But after being here, seeing some of the research, some of the data that I've reviewed, I mean, the answer is clear. Wonder Soul is simply the best coconut core product that I've found to date here. All right. 
So another thing, and the reason why I'm actually here today is because I filmed an episode, and you could check that, it's a while back. I went to Urban Hydro Greens. They're located in Las Vegas, Nevada. And what they do is they have a 1,000 square foot warehouse that I was able to film in that's not normally open to the public. Uh, so you can see how they're growing, you know, microgreens inside a warehouse that they sell to restaurants and people all over the all over Las Vegas to provide them some of the highest quality nutrition in the microgreens. And I want to definitely encourage you guys to grow microgreens year round wherever you live. Even if you live in an apartment, even if you live in a condo in New York City or Miami Beach, you don't have any place to grow food, you can always grow microgreens and wheatgrass and sprouts. When I originally went into urban hydrogreens, they're originally using the traditional hydroponic growing methods, including a little mat that they would use, and the Wondersoul. But since that time, they pretty much switched to entirely using the Wondersoul because they learned that in the Wondersoul, the microgreens grow faster, they grow more vigorous, and they can be selling their products earlier, which means they'll be turning product earlier, making more profit. But if you're guys at home, you don't care about the profits. You care about eating stuff out of your garden and the stuff you're growing. And the Wonder Soil is gonna allow you to grow faster, grow healthier crops so that you can be eating sooner rather than later. And that's what this is showing right here. We got traditional hydroponics, and you can see, you know, the plants are just not growing as big, and with the Wonder Soil, uh, three days faster and two times the growth. So I don't care if you're growing microgreens, I don't care if you're growing vegetables, I don't care if you're growing tomatoes, I don't care if you're growing medicinal herbs, you're gonna get faster growth, more vigorous plants with higher yields. And yeah, here's just some of the pictures of, you know, what the root system looks like. So you know, that's truly the power of the Wonder Soil here, you know, basically, the, it's a special design core process specially that they add their special nutrient packages to both organic and uh, non-organic to basically make your plants have vigorous growth and be as healthy as they can. Next, I'm gonna show you guys how these guys expand. So we're gonna go ahead and give you guys a close-up because it really is that important to see this up close instead of far away. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and get to expand the coconut core pellets. Now, one of the challenges I've had with other coconut core pellets and even the peat pellets out there, which I do not recommend, is that they just don't seem to expand that fast. You'll pour the water on, you'll sit there, you'll sit there, you'll sit there. They even recommend using warm water so they'll expand faster. Here we just got some standard cold water right out the tap. Nothing special. You know, I would encourage you guys to use filtered water when expanding your core products, you know, and just using filtered water in general for your garden. I'm not a big fan of the chlorine. It's not good for the beneficial microbes in the soil. So we're gonna go ahead and just take this water and check this out, right? Pour a little bit of water on the top and then we'll pour the rest on the bottom. And check it out, these guys look like the snakes. You know, when you're like a little kid and you have those little fireworks of snakes, they're growing. And check it out, if you've got kids, always let your kids expand your little core pellets because man, kids love instant gratification. And this is instant gratification when you see all the water get sucked up in the core pellets. And check it out, man. Now we got, got some nice soil to use in the garden. So what'd you guys think of that? expanding coconut core wafer, man. Pretty cool, huh? Well, now what we're gonna do is actually we're gonna go in to the manufacturing facility here at Wondersoil Company and share with you guys how they make this stuff exactly here in Las Vegas. So uh, let's check it out. Now we're in the manufacturing facility, which is where all the core is processed. They have a big storage area, and as you guys can see, they have pallets and pallets and, you know, of the coconut core, and each of these pallets have basically 200 of the little blocks that you guys could buy, the virgin blocks that I showed you guys just a little bit earlier. And that's what they get in here and that's what they sell as the virgin blocks. But see, that's not where the magic happens. The magic happens is where they take these compressed blocks that once again, special quality core, unlike any others. You know, there's many different companies selling core. They've tested over 30 different kinds of core samples that they got from different companies from around the world, from, you know, Mexico, Sri Lanka, and, uh, you know, India and they've settled on using a few high quality suppliers that they've identified that has consistent product with low salt. One of the biggest challenges with the coconut core is that it has high salt and another challenge uh, you know, that's not often mentioned is the way it's processed. If you process, compress the coconut core too much, you don't process it right, it's gonna wreck the structure and then it will not work as well for you guys in the garden. So every batch that they come in here, you know, is tested and they've refused batches if it does not meet their high quality standards. So what they do with this core here, besides just selling it as a raw product, which, you know, is good, but I'd recommend getting their one that has the, you know, action-packed nutrient solution in there. 
So what they take this core and then they process it further. So they don't just take the core and put some, you know, pixie dust on it and send it out. No, they go through a big process with all kinds of heavy equipment machinery here in front of me that now I'm gonna get to show you guys what they do to make some of the best wonder soil in the world. So now we're in with all the machinery and they not only have one set of machinery on this side to make their products, they have actually two sets of machinery that are similar, but yet just a little bit different. I mean, this is a $2 million operation that would cost to buy all this equipment brand new. So nobody's gonna be doing this except Wonder Soil anytime soon. So what happens is, you know, they take these core blocks that get shipped over a full and whole and, you know, it saves on shipping. But then to make their products, they can't use the whole blocks and they're not gonna expand in water because they do not wanna ship water. Once again, waste resources. They take this block and put it up on this conveyor belt behind me. It actually goes up into the grinder and then they grind this up into the core fiber or the particulate that then they add nutrition to. And this is what some of the dust looks like right there. Look at that. Nice and dusty. Well, <laughs> is that like pixie dust? So after they got the dust, then they take the dust and then they amend it with other things such as my favorite worm castings in the world, Worm Gold Plus, things like the Cascade Minerals, things like the Azomite, things like Mycorrhiza, all the good stuff that I'd recommend to you guys to basically increase your plant growth. So let's go ahead and take a look at, you know, their amazing collection of additives that they add to the core to make it even better. I mean, I have a lot of things that I add to my soil at home to make my when I bake my soil cake, they have even more things than me. So this is really cool to see all the cool things they got that they add to the Wonder Soil to get great results. So now we're in the area with all the different soil amendments that makes the Wonder Soil possible. I mean, this is what they're doing. They're creating soil. They're taking the coconut core with all these different amendments mixed in in the right ratio so that you guys don't have to figure it out to provide you a one-stop growing solution. And you know, I knew when I walked in here when they have the worm castings, and it's just not any worm castings, it's the Worm Gold Plus worm castings that I love so much that they have done their research. You know, you guys could check my videos, I don't know how many videos back now, I did a video up to 400% plant growth by using the special Worm Gold Plus worm castings. These worm castings are different than other worm castings because how they are made, you know, and what the worms are fed specifically. So I'm glad that they're using the good worm castings because once again, this is probably one of the components that's increasing the growth and allowing the Wonder Soil to succeed. Of course, besides the worm castings, they've also done their research on other products that I like so much, such as the rock dust or the rock powders, stone powders. They have the accelerite, they also have the cascade minerals, they also have the azomite. I mean, they have three different kinds of rock dust. I don't know probably anybody else in Vegas aside from me and my house, I have five varieties of rock dust that's using this kind of rock dust, you know, to amend the soil, to give your plants the trace minerals they need. This is what plants, in my opinion, including your turf, is starving for, it's the trace minerals, you know. Most companies are concerned with giving you 10, 10, 10, 15, 15, 15 fertilizer, and they're forgetting about all these different trace minerals, you know. I like to add 70 to 90 trace minerals back into my soil in my garden to have explosive plant growth, but not only explosive plant growth, healthier plants, that taste better when I eat them too. And they also have things like the kelp meal and they have things like the biosol and all different kinds of things, including water saving polymers, you know, that they add to the, their mixture that's gonna help you guys save water and increase your plant growth. I mean, I've seen the studies on it. I don't know if I believe in the polymers myself. I'm gonna hopefully test it real soon and see what happens. Cause you know, there's pros and cons of adding polymers or, you know, pretty much plastics in your ground. They can be helpful, but is there something that's going to happen that's bad? I don't know, but I think they definitely can help. And in some Wonder Soil products, they use it along with some of the other, you know, uh, products they add, some of the soil additives. They do also, besides having an organic line, they also have ones that have uh, the conventional fertilizers in there and that can, you know, basically provide a fast boost for the plants to get growing now that are water soluble. And then they also provide also, you know, the good stuff like the worm castings, the rock dust. That's more time sustained release. So you get the hit now so your plants could grow. And then uh, once that burns off, then you got the long term success of some of the more organic and natural uh, nutrients that I recommend. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to show you guys how they take the core and then add the nutrients. They mix it all up and then they make some of the uh, core wafers 
that you guys saw earlier. So what we're looking at now is where the coconut core goes after it's been fully ground up into a nice particle size. It actually goes into a machine like this. This is actually known as a mixer. And this is exactly what I need in my home to mix up my soil buns because it's nice and large. They put the coconut core plus some of the other nutrients in specific ratios that they've learned over the years to get the best growing results. So they put it in here, they close the top, they turn this little auger thing on, it just mixes and mixes and gets even distribution of all the different soil amendments they're adding and incorporating it into the coconut core. So for example, you know, one of the products I like is the azomite, and the azomite goes into some other products. They'll take this, dump it right in, along with the coconut core, mix it all up. Now, once they got this mixer, they don't just stop there, put it in a bag, right? They want to save space, save transportation costs, and provide the best value to the customer. So after they make this, then it goes into further machinery so that they can compress it back. I mean, it came in compressed, and it's going out compressed to save space, but they've done a real big value add. They've added a lot of good nutrition to it, and this is truly what makes Wondersoil different than all other coconut core products out there. Nobody has taken it to this level to uh, produce the high quality soil that Wondersoil is. So after they got the specialized blend of the coconut core with all the amendments, it goes into something like this. This is just a big hopper. And as you guys can see, they got tons of woo, the dusty like stuff. Now it wouldn't be too cool if they shipped you guys this dusty stuff. I don't you know, believe you guys should be breathing any kind of fine particulate. And if you do work with rock dust or anything fine particulate, definitely recommend you guys wearing a, a dust mask so you don't breathe this stuff in. Now, coconut core in itself is non-toxic, much as is rock dust, but definitely the particle and the particulate is not good for your lungs, so that's why you don't want to breathe it. But that's why I'm glad to say that here at the Wonder Store, they don't just sell you the stuff that's mixed up, they actually then put it into this hopper and actually run it through a tube that looks like a standard PVC tube, but it has an auger in it that's flexible and the auger basically transports all the, the pre-mixed coconut core with the amendments through it to actually a tableting machine. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys, man, this extensive network of machinery and tubing and pipes that just go everywhere so that they can make this wonder soil here in Las Vegas. All right, what we're looking at now is the network of machinery that makes the wonder soil possible, right? You guys saw the little hopper. That's that hopper that I was standing above just over there. It's that black thing, right? The hopper basically feeds the mixture down into that white pipe that goes up and over the top and over into this uh, Y right there. And then it feeds that machine over there. That is a tableting machine. So they have seven different tableting machines that make tablets of all different sizes, either small ones or larger ones you know, meant for different applications. So you could use some of the smaller ones for seed starting, you could use the larger ones for seed starting, you could use the larger ones to expand, to add to your garden mix, you know, so many different applications. And uh, so what we're gonna do next is actually show you guys how this tableting machine takes that uncompressed core and compresses it down and puts it into little pellets that is now saving you space and will expand to like four times its size to give you guys more wonder soil in your garden. All right, what we're looking at now is a tableting machine that's taking the uncompressed mixture and compressing it like three times at once. So it's getting a lot more mixture in there. So it's gonna save the space in the shipping. Literally these are like thousand pound presses pressing down. And as you guys can see, it's taking these little compressed pellets. These are the same kind of tableting machines that you maybe take still take vitamins and whatnot. You know, this kind of force it takes to compress the core down. Now they have, I don't know man, a half dozen machines to make these guys in all different sizes for all different needs. 